Hi, thanks for joining us today. This is Amy Collins of the Ohio Professional Registry here at OCRA. Some changes have happened to the employment entry process and we wanted to show you those changes. If you're a first time user and you've just created your profile, um, when you sign in, there will be a pop-up still that says add employment. So you're gonna click add employment because you have to have an employment record to continue into your profile. So what you see, this is where some of the changes have happened. Um, you're gonna choose the box that best describes your employment or your employer. And you'll notice that even if, say, you're currently not employed, um, maybe a program has decided they want to hire you, but um, they haven't done so yet, you need a background check and you need to have a profile so that you could access the background check. That's okay if you currently don't have employment, in, employment to enter, you will go down here and click this box because you see it says not currently employed. So let's let's take a look at that. And then you can see once we click that box, it took, took us to the next page that says, which best describes your employment? And maybe you're a student. So you would select current student. Or maybe you work and an employer who's not early childhood. You would select any other not early childhood or school age. But this is where you would go if you would want to select that you are currently not employed. And you would click this button and you would put in um, the date that you would want to indicate that you, um, maybe it's today's date, you could put that here or any day in the past. I do want you to notice also that there are back buttons and cancel buttons. Back button will take you to the previous page, whereas cancel will just cancel this record altogether. And it will give you a pop-up. Are you sure you want to cancel? And if you click yes, that will discard all your changes. And if you are a first time user and you cancel that out, you will have to sign back in. And here's our pop-up. So I'm going to click Add Employment. And I'm going to choose the box that the best describes my employment or my employer. So I work in a program that's licensed through ODJFS. So I'm going to click this box. And then I'm going to click, which provider are you with? I am in a program that's licensed through Ohio Department of Job and Family Services. So I'm gonna click this box. So in this area, you have a couple choices. You can enter the program license number, or you can enter in the name of the program as it appears on the license. And then once you start typing, the system will go through the database and provide you choices. So you just wanna make sure that you select um, the correct program with the license number and program type as well. And now you can select what role And when you started working. So here you can either type it in or you can use the calendar. But then I realized I didn't enter the correct start date. So I'm going to click the back button. And I'll have the opportunity to enter a different start date. And so my start date changed. Do I still work there? Yes. So the next three questions, you can enter the information or you can click, I prefer not to answer. So I work here 40 hours a week. How many months do I work? Well, I work year round. 
and then what is your hourly wage? Well, maybe you prefer not to answer. So you can click, I prefer not to answer. What age group do you primarily work? Preschool. Now, if you have more than one role with this program, you can add another role. So let's add another role. Let's say that I'm an assistant teacher and I'm an administrator. I became an administrator. Hmm, I'll say the same date. I still work there, but I prefer not to answer. Do I have any additional roles? No. Now, this is your opportunity to indicate which is your primary role. So right now, the system thinks that my assistant teacher position is my primary role, whereas my administrator position is my primary role. So I'm going to come down here and click Make Primary and Save Employment. So now, in the Employment tab of my profile, it shows my employer name. It shows both of my roles and it has indicated which of those roles are primary. And my start date, I'm still there. So it shows that I'm my employment is current. Now you'll see right here what's been brought back to the employment record is the remove button. So let's see how that works. Let's add in another employment record. And not all employment types will require me to enter a license number. Um, let's go over here and say at this time, I am a service coordinator. And this will allow me to type in the agency that I work for. I don't have to enter in a license number. I can type in whatever the name of the agency is here. It's going to ask my county. So common counties are shown here, um, but maybe a person doesn't work in Ohio, so they can select not in Ohio. I'm an early intervention service coordinator. I started in February. But you know what? I changed my mind. I really don't work there anymore, so I'm going to put in an end date. Nope, I don't have any additional roles. Save my employment. And now we're going to use this remove button. Are you sure you would like to remove this employment record? Yes. So the remove button has returned to the employment records. And then just keep in mind as you're working in the employment section that you can edit records that have already been entered. Um, you can enter, excuse me, you can edit certain fields. And then if you click the edit button and things in here just aren't right at all, you can remove the record and then re-enter it the correct way. Also keep in mind that the screens that you see are dependent upon the box that you select here and 
than the box that you select in here. Some require license numbers or program names so that you can connect to an organization dashboard, while others don't. So the screens that you see are completely dependent upon the boxes that you select. And I do want to remind you that if you have questions along the way about the registry or OCRA, you can click on OCRA on the top left side of your page. It will take you back to okra.org where there are resources here to help you if you have questions. It's updated frequently. And if you have questions about the Ohio Professional Registry, you can hover over Ohio Professional Registry and find guidance information down below. Thank you so much for watching.